Good morning, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right. All right, I'm on my way back to the house after dropping off the kid for class and she's staying till six tonight so we can get some stuff done. I have to go home, load the car because Rockstad's not open till 10. She'll be there till 10. I have time to go home, load up the Christmas stuff and then be out of the way. So normally I'm like scrambling the night before to load everything and I didn't last night. I'm like after I got all that stuff packed up I went eh, I'll just wait because she's not going to be there till 10. I can go home and we'll load the car. <sighs> There's a lot of running these last couple days but I should get to pick it with another load but I need to find the rest of the Christmas stuff so the other thing I'm going to do this morning is go into Fluffy, see if I can find some bins that I forgot about with Christmas, go into the garage, which I don't know, that gives me wicked anxiety just to think about going in there because it's gotten bad in the garage. Part of it is my husband getting upset about things and just chucking every every box that comes in the house now gets chucked into my garage. Like, there are boxes out there and I'm like, all they need to be is broken down and, and tossed, right? But they overwhelm me. And I know it's an ADHD thing, so if I'm if I'm thinking I don't have to be creative today. I might just take my meds and focus on pulling stuff out. I want to purge some inventory anyway. Um, it's cold today, which actually helps. It's a little cold today. Tomorrow it's going to be a lot cold. Um, but a little cold helps because then while I'm working, I don't get overheated from the hot flashes. Um, it'll actually help maintain my temperature. You can tell it's cold because I got my blankie on. This is the shawl actually. Except when I wear a shawl, I look like I should be riding a burro and like getting coffee out of the mountains. You know what I'm saying? I don't look like chic, like chic. No. I want to be chic in a shawl, like a wrap. No, I don't. I don't think you're chic at all. Not at all. It's not a me thing. <laughs> So it just looks like I got a big blankie on. <laughs> Here we go. My very chic now. No, it looks like you're wrapped in a friggin' blanket. But it is the season where I need to be wrapped in a friggin' blanket, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, the cold will actually work in my advantage. So now would be a good time for me to work on that. School photos? Yes, I did. I'm being yelled at by my child on text, so you know, there's that. You didn't order my school photos? Nah, no, I did. I did too. And then I went, oh, did I pay for them to ship to our house and not to the school? Like the, the pictures showed up at school and she didn't get pictures, so I may have had them sent to the house. Again, ADHD. I don't know what I did. But I did order them. I do know that I did that because I had a list and it was checked off. Ha. Ha ha. I did do that. There's a lot of things I didn't do from the list, but I did that. <sighs> she had retakes. They were like ordered later than everyone else's. I don't know that they're... Anyway. She made me stressed. I'm stressed now. Uh, uh -huh. <sighs> Teenagers. So anyway, I think that's what I'll do today is 
um, go through Fluffy, find the rest of the Christmas stuff, go through into the garage. <laughs> that makes me shudder. Um, and if it clears up a bit, because right now everything is wet from the rain last night, I will wash the blow molds. So the blow molds are covered in dirt. They were covered in dirt when I got them. And I haven't had a chance really to just, you know, spray some cleaner on it and, and hose them down. And unfortunately, rain didn't clean them. You know what I mean? So I have to get some water on them. And I just haven't wanted to, frankly. I've had all summer. I've had all freaking summer to do it. And you could tell that I didn't want to because I didn't. The glamorous life of cleaning blow molds. So that's got to be done now because they are going in. Um, I have Mary Joseph and baby Jesus somewhere in the garage. I have candles. I have lamp posts. I have a snowman. So they're all going in. And hopefully November is the best month ever and I can I can like prepare for January because January is like the desert as far as sales go I try real hard to get people like excited about gift certificates for Christmas because then they they hopefully their friends will come in and shop in January doesn't mean they will, but January is like a dead zone. So if I do gangbusters in November, I can set some money aside to make sure I can pay my bills in January. Because I still have bills that have to be paid, and unfortunately January seems to have a lot of extra bills. And I still owe the state of Minnesota because my accountant's an idiot. So, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, my former accountant is an idiot. Find a new accountant, that's on the list too. get some stuff done today. Okay, I loaded the car, put a brisket in the oven, did the dishes, and I've forgotten the code to my garage. I tried. I had quite a few codes. Even though the battery's done. I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in, it's been a hot minute since I've been in the garage through that door. I usually go in the the door, the access door from the house. So maybe the battery's dead. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I'm like, what is the code? I don't know. I tried a couple different codes. Nothing happened. So I don't know. Y'all, I, I need adult supervision and an assistant. I need an assistant for sure. Um, Funny anymore. I've got tags in my pocket for these Christmas trees. Um, such great Christmas trees. I got the gold and the silver. So hopefully they fly off the shelves. But um, sun's come out and stuff's starting to dry. The grass is really wet and I don't like wet when it's cold outside so I would rather go through the garage but I had a massive panic attack about my booth because I have to get the chair out I don't know what I want to do I'm freaking out and then I went out to the garage and stood there just taking it in and I realized I have this small table that I had painted a while ago that is in there and I think it's scratched but I don't care. It's going to be like a display piece anyway. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting better. It's better. It's better because the chair has to come out of there. Um, it needs to be changed up. I saw a folding corner shelf I kind of forgot I own. <laughs> don't make fun of me. I know. I know how bad it is. I do know how bad it is. Um, you lose track of what you have. And um, if I was still doing pop-up shows, I would know I have that. But I'm not doing pop-up shows anymore. And that's when I would take all the folding racks, including the 
corner shelf and I have not used that corner shelf in my booth in since I had the upstairs booth since I moved down from the upstairs so what was that over a year ago um, but it's gonna come in now because I need to take out the chair and I think I want to take down the table um, I have the bench I want to line against the one wall and then I think I'll take the um, the ladder out so it's on the edge so you can see the things that are on the ladder I'm, I'm trying to like mentally redo my booth there's a lot going on in here and I might be at capacity I don't know I've been mentally trying to rearrange my booth and figure out exactly what's going in there and I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have wicked anxiety about it. The good news is there haven't been any more dead mice in my car. I checked the trap today. No mice, so that's good. Got the mouse out of the out of the car. all this Christmas stuff delivered and uh, get back and work. Work, work, work and get the stuff for Picket all set up and then tomorrow um, I get to drop Victoria off for the Scary Scamper which is a, a 5k run they do for her school and every Halloween. And then I will drop her off Go drop a load off, pick it, and come back. I think I'm going to have to, after her friends show up, so we're having six girls over. I think I have to go work on my booth. I'm just running out of time. Maybe I'll get over there tonight. Maybe I'll get over there today. And at least change some things around. I don't know. schedule because I'm really stressed out at this point. Can't believe how far behind I am. Oh well. Okay, she took almost everything. Um, obviously, she didn't take all the individual ornaments. I knew she wasn't going to and then she left behind a couple deer. So that's awesome. I'll take the deer. Uh, and everything else she took. Yay! I am going to go home now and eat. I'm freaking starving. I went to um, the discount grocer. That's probably why. Uh, they have this Nick and Drew's. It's the same as like up in Lindstrom. I think I've talked about it before. But they had, I just need potatoes because I put a brisket in the oven before he left. At 250 for like all day slow and slow cook. And I've, I've got the potatoes. But then I also bought like a bunch of other stuff, including, so tomorrow Victoria's friends are coming and I bought this big freaking pan of um, apple crisp. I'm like, oh, that'll be great for the girls. So I'm excited. It was only 10 bucks for like this big party size pan of apple crisp. The girls can tear up some apple crisp. It'll be nice. I'll put it in the oven and they'll have a nice warm treat because it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. Um, and they're going to be in the basement. So it'll be a nice warm treat for the girls. I should have got apple cider, but Victoria wanted pop. But I think, wouldn't that be nice when they're down there? Like warm apple cider? That's me. I just want to be cozy. I'm going to go home and uh, work in Fluffy for a little bit. See what else we can dig up. I have to go back on Tuesday next week and drop off some candles. She didn't have candles for the, um, the big angel. I'm like, I've got tapers. I'll bring you tapers. I want a ton of tapers. I buy them when I see them. So if I'm out and they're 25 cents or whatever, or a bag of them for 25 cents, a bag is great. I pick up the tapers, but I'll grab a few of those. And then I have the small brass angels for her that she took and those didn't have them. So I put the mini candles too. Excuse me. Good Lord. Um, over to her she'll be happy so I felt
fell asleep for three hours. I'm not really sure how it happened. I had lunch sitting on the couch and then I woke up three hours later. So I must have been tired. I'm in fluffy. I've got a few things out. The wind is really bad. I don't know if this is going to stand. I'll catch you if you want. I got some stuff. Let me show you. This one doesn't specifically have Christmas in it. These two do. That does now. That bag does. That box is empty. My husband's got to burn that. Got the blow mold and that one that fell apart. That's broken, so that's garbage now. Uh, but this is what I've identified as going in. So I will have to get all this stuff into the car, which means I got to get that chair out of there. I can hardly breathe. I'm so tired. It's got to be a thyroid thing, if I'm guessing. So I'm going to wrap this video up and, and just do things peacefully because I may fall asleep again, like at any second. So thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.